Hey YouTube, this video is an update about uh, the catch can that I installed about four weeks ago on my uh, 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee 3.6 liter V6. Um, I drove about a, a thousand miles, I would say, and I just wanted to uh, check the, uh, the catch can if it did collect anything. So uh, the, the engine was kind of hot earlier, so I just let it, you know, cool off a little bit. Uh, let's double check it. This is the moment of truth. See if the catch can is uh, doing its job or not. <laughs> holy moly check this out so this is a thousand miles after I, uh, I installed it it's a good amount of oil imagine if all this oil is going back to your uh, intake manifold it's gonna clog the hell out of it somebody was telling me uh, as long as um, this is not a turbo engine you don't need a catch can. Well, my friend, as long as it's a, a, a direct in, in, uh, injection, yes, a direct injection engine, then you definitely need uh, a catch can. Well, you don't have to, but in my opinion, it's a must. If you gotta have every thousand miles, this amount of oil sucked back into your engine, that's a bad sign. Here you have it, guys. Just wanted to share this uh, information with you. I hope this is uh, helpful for some of some of you guys who's uh, debating having a uh, catch can or not for their um, Durango or uh, Jeeps 3.6 liter uh, V6 engines. So I guess, uh, in my opinion, this is you know, it's uh, you gotta think twice. I think it's a must. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.